Right now, federal agents are running down leads, trying to determine if any of the attackers were American. A group claiming to be Al Shabaab posted on its Twitter account that one of the attackers was from Kansas City, two others from right here in Minneapolis. We know that this is home to probably the country's largest Somali American community. And a lot of families here have been fighting the recruiting efforts of Al Shabaab, luring their young men over to fight overseas. They haven't always been successful. Dozens of young men have traveled over to fight with Al Shabaab. In fact, a recruiting video released just last month featured one of those young men. He compared Somalia to Disneyland for jihadists and urged other Muslims to follow him into the fight. Now, we know from a senior State Department official that some in the Obama administration have been raising alarms about this potential recruiting, but an FBI source says they have been working with the Somali American community here to try to prevent any of those who have traveled overseas from coming back here to the United States to commit acts of terrorism.